Hey guys, Steven here with Maverick Drone Systems. Today we're actually on site at the Twin Cities Maze, a large corn maze. It's actually Bear's land here. Um, we're just gonna show you his custom trailer setup for his drone sprayer, the Agrass T30. My name's Bear, I'm with Aerial Spray and Survey. Um, behind me here is my custom trailer setup um, that I use in order to spray uh, an assortment of different crops with my uh, Agrass T30. So we're gonna go ahead and start with the trailer. Um, the base of the trailer is a, a 20 foot equipment hauler. Um, bought the flat deck, uh, then communicated uh, what I wanted with a trailer builder. Um, and he went ahead and put a eight foot box on top of the trailer. Um, so it's an eight foot box, seven feet tall. So there's plenty of uh, headroom in there um, to walk around. There's plenty of room to store the Agras T30, um, as well as the generator. Uh, the actual storage of all your containers that you need for measuring chemical um, as well as batteries chargers Everything can get stored inside this box and locked up at the end of the day So inside inside the trailer now there's plenty of headroom in here um, I just put an assortment of all different types of hooks um, Lining up along the sides of the walls um, didn't really know what they're gonna be used for but I knew I was gonna need a lot of them So I keep all of my um, extra connectors uh, for my charger, my electrical cables, I keep a spare pump on hand, all my big heavy wiring um, and little fittings and stuff that could possibly go bad. Um, I have a towel dispenser mounted up on the wall here. Um, I went ahead and built this shelf that was put in here um, and that does a really good job at storing and holding all my batteries and my chargers. Everything in here, it was really important to me that it was going to be tied down um, when you're spraying, at least for what I'm doing. It's in a lot of places that's very bumpy, off-road stuff. I wanna make sure that everything's really nice and held down. Um, so I run both a sprayer and a spreader system. Um, so here you can see my spray tank is fixed to the corner. Um, I can swap that very easily with my T30 um, and then put the spreader tank up here and lock that in. Um, this is all my controllers and stuff like that and some hand washing soap, um, as well as my generator, which is fixed to the floor. Um, and then all these different Rubbermaid tubs under here that have, you know, assorted uh, measuring containers, I have scales, um, PPE, um, as well as just backup parts and equipment that I need. So by far one of my favorite parts of this entire trailer setup is the generator itself. So behind this door here that latches is my generator. It's a 12,500 peak watt Westinghouse generator. Um, I've found that so far it's worked really well for me. You can tell by how dirty it is that I run this thing like crazy, um, the hours that, that are stacking up on it. Um, so the greatest part about this is how it slides out. So you undo that latch there and the whole generator slides out. Um, that was a really big factor for me. Um, if I was going to be spraying all these hard to get to areas for very long days, I didn't want to be having to lug this massive generator around. So this way I'm able to pull it out connect all my electrical connections, charge everything. At the end of the day, just slide the generator back in, it latches, you shut the door, and you're good to go. So an important thing to me about this trailer was being able to go out and stay spraying for the entire day. I didn't wanna to have to keep coming back for refills, um, so I make sure that I have plenty of fuel for the generator as well as water. So on this tank, I have mounted two 275 gallon IBC tanks. So those IBC tanks provide me with a total of 550 gallons of usable water throughout the day. And those two tanks are paired to a 60 gallon inductor tank that I have set up as my mixing tank um, that then mixes my chem and I'm able to put that straight into the drone. So the largest part of the entire liquid handling system is our 12 volt pump that we have here. Um, it's actually wired into the 12 volt wiring of the trailer itself, so it always has power. You don't need to run the generator for that. Um, and that is paired to two valves up front here. Um, what these valves do on either side of this tank is that one over there controls where you're pulling from. So I can choose to pull fresh water from my tanks here or I can flip that valve and choose to pull from the bottom of my inductor tank there. Now this valve controls where that water is going. If I flip it this direction, what's going to happen is there's going to be constant circulation or filling in the tank that's going to then fill through this bulkhead up here. 
If I then close this, flip it this direction, then all of my pressure and liquid is gonna be coming out of this nozzle here, which is what we use for filling. So with this trailer set up, paired with my T30, I was able to get right around that 200 to 300 acres a day completed. Um, the main factor in that is definitely being the liquid handling system um, and just the trailer with the generator and that system all combined being very efficient is a very big deal. When you land that drone, you wanna make sure that your relay time from the time that the drone lands to the drone takes off is as short as possible and a good trailer setup is definitely core for that. Right. Yeah, and I'm really excited uh, that Maverick Drones came out today. Uh, they're my local dealer. They're 25 minutes, half an hour down the road. And I'm actually getting the new Agris T40 um, from them as well. So I'm really excited for that to come in and you know see what that's able to do.